Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, I showed you guys the scent that I won for the day is Alabama Moonshine. And this is by the Distillery Series. Um, this is a really good scent. This way I haven't worn a whole lot. Uh, it's basically almost full, like right up in here. Um, this thing, man, it just spread. It just smells so darn good. It got a really strong projection starting off. Uh, starting off, this thing projects for like the first hour and a half to two hours. Kind of like a citrus vibe. Remind me a lot if you like the original Aqua E. Joe. That's basically what this is. I think that's what they're copying. Aqua E. Joe. Cause this, this is all this is. Aqua D. Joe. The original Aqua D. Joe. Like I said, you get about an hour and a half to two hours projection out of it. And, like I said, if you like the smell of the original Aqua D. Joe, then you're going to love this bad boy. Alright, that being said, the longevity of this fragrance, I've been playing with it a little bit. It's somewhere between four, maybe six hours. And that's typical, especially on my dry type skin. You know, I get four to six hours out of it. I say, well, heck, I done good. You know what I'm saying? So, after about four hours, guys, I recommend you take this and just reapply it. It's like soap. And don't even worry about longevity. Usually, I don't get caught up into longevity. Um, I just reapply the thing. That's what I always do. I just reapply it. I mean, that longevity ain't going to never be exactly like you want it. You know, it's always going to gonna need to uh, reapply. You can see the juice in here. See here. See the juice. So the longevity, um, and that's typical with most fragrances. They really push out the longevity. You're gonna have to reapply. It's there's really no no way around it. You know, just scoop, just a quick spray it again in about four hours. All right, guys, the best time to rock this one. This will make a good casual scent. Also make a good date night fragrance. On a night out with your wife, your girlfriend. You're going on. I always say this. Out to eat dinner somewhere. You're going to eat buffet. You're going to a seafood bar or a seafood restaurant or something like that. You're going to be smelling good with this one. Or you're going out to the mall. You could be going to the mall just shopping for clothes or whatever. This going to smell good on you. Well, you're going to places looking for fragrances or uh, some form of hoodies or you're going somewhere like Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington Coke Factories, um, Target, Marshalls, Bales, Walmart. Just name a few stores you might go in. And that's TJ Maxx and them also, you know, stores like that and Ross has fragrances. Uh, you guys could be shopping around for cologne spray. Or whatever the case might be. You could be out with your wife looking for perfume sprays. You know, so it depends what you're looking for. No matter what you're doing, you're going to be smelling real, real good with this fragrance. And like I said, if you like Aqua Dijon, it's got a nice citrus, lemon type vibe with this fragrance. That's all it is. Just a big, fat clone of Aqua Dijon Original. It smells good. It smells real, real good. I just can't, I can't help it. It smells amazing. Like I said, if you like the original Aqua D. Joe, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. You don't want to spend $50, $60, whatever it costs. Get this. You can get this around $10 or $15. Uh, it just smells so good. I can see this man worn to something formal, like a wedding reception. Uh, just a wedding period. This could be one for a job interview. How you, you want to smell good? You want to smell important for that job? You know, um, yeah. This man, this will get you smelling really, really good. It, it smells almost like what it looks. Kind of got like imitation leather going around the bottle, as you can see here. Um, the scent is actually leathery. Has a leathery vibe to it. 
kind of like a citrus, lemon, leathery vibe. Smells real good. Like I said, if you like Aqua Dijo, I mean, you ought to fall in love with this one. Uh, this one here might have a little bit more citrus lemon and leather to it. I was saying, and like I always tell you guys, the heck with longevity. I don't care about longevity. After three to maybe four hours, I'm just that type of person, man. I just take this thing and I reapply it like this. You know, I don't care about longevity. Not me. That's why we get a whole big bottle because I can reapply this thing as needed. If I smell my fist or whatever like this and I feel like it's died down, you know, pretty much, I'm just going to reapply. I mean, if I smell it some, but still I feel like, well, I can smell it, but it's like it's so close to the skin. So I'm kind of curious. Can anybody else smell it? You know, if if it's that close to the skin, I feel like, well, you know, it ain't projecting enough for nobody to really smell the fragrance. So, boom, there we go. So I just reapply it again. That's just all right. No matter if you do smell it, it's just that my judgment be like, if it's too, so close to the skin, I got sink my nose in it like that, and then pretty much there's no way it's projecting, you know, so. There's no way it's projecting if I can't even see. I got to sink my nose into it. So y'all give it a try. This is Alabama Moon Moonshine by the Distillery Series. It's my center of the day. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Stay smelling good. Until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.